Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the light heavyweight division between Joe Calzaghe and Jermaine Taylor. Joe Calzaghe's making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. Jermaine Taylor's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defense. Oh, and there you go. He falls victim to that big hook. Nothing there on the punch by Jermaine Taylor. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? <laughs> wow! He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Boy, what gut. What guts to stay in there and gather yourself again after he was taking a beating? Yeah, what guts, what instincts, and what a set of whiskers. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Joe Calzaghe's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Good defensive skill. A striking combination by Jermaine Taylor. Holy cow! Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Carries that punch intended for the head. Rushing hook just gets right to him. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch he needed like flowers need rain. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. He was stunned, but now he's surviving. Oh, what an exchange! Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Well, the end of the round is upon us. And oh boy, we need to catch our breath ourselves. Now these guys are not shy about introducing themselves. They came right out at the beginning, they said hello with punches, punches and bunches. Great exchanges we've seen so far. Here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. But now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again.
see the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Wow! That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Nice strike after catching one by Jermaine Taylor. Locks away that headshot. Nothing there on the punch button. Oh, and there you go. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. What does a fighter need to do to really build the foundation to a great career? Well, first of all, they have to have the desire to have that great career. There has to be something in them. There has to be coal in that furnace to burn. Right to the head and right to the canvas. some way he's going to continue on here and if he's going to stay in this fight now he's got to avoid this opponent like the black plague oh that's good stuff fire it right back with one of his own good work by joe calzaghi there it is oh that uppercut got him badly the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Holy cow! Jermaine Taylor's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Able to dismiss it. Oh, Jermaine Taylor's in bad shape. <laughs> round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I, How so? Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Roll on with it. find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, so is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. A snapping combination by Jermaine Taylor. Keep working the body. Able to show you his blocking ability. There it is! Jermaine Taylor stunned and he is hurt. Jermaine Taylor is still feeling the effects of that knockdown from earlier, and you can see he's been a... Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy
able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Beautiful job of just timing things there with the counterpunch early in this fight. Well, timing, I'm glad you said that, timing, because timing is connected to counterpunching. It was a beautiful job. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Well done that time, landing the counterpunch. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, and there you go! Jermaine Taylor's in bad shape! Good block by Jermaine Taylor. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Well, that's where he wants to try to keep him, just contain him there in the corner. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point. But not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He could get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he could kill a little of the clock, survive. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. That was not well targeted by Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine Taylor is coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? So the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid. There's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little with his wind. You're looking at his lake. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Jermaine Taylor's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Able to dismiss it. Good block there by Jermaine Taylor. Holy cow! Jermaine Taylor's been stunned! Jermaine Taylor's clinching a lot, Teddy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I mean, you gotta wonder if the referee's gonna start coming in there and give him a few warnings right now. But he's gotta get himself together. That's what he's trying to do. And then hopefully he can find a way to get on the offense. He gets off with a combination up top. Taylor's movement helped out there. He avoided that. There it is! Joe Calzaghe's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. <laughs> Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop it. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab... Or he's got to stand on the rope, stay right in front of the guy, and move his head to make a miss. He can't use his legs. Oh, that's got to hurt. Jermaine Taylor's legs look shaky. He was hurt. And that round is in the books, and that one should go into the record books. It's been all action all night. But that chapter in the book was something special. Oh, it was, Joe. You know, sometimes you go to a party, you don't know what to expect. You wind up getting guys that like to talk. They come right in, they introduce themselves. Well, here, you get guys that like to fight. Let's get on that swell.
Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Jermaine Taylor's bang by an uppercut. Not precise at all by Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine Taylor's inability to connect is really concerning me right now. I don't think he's been able to get a thing done since he got tagged earlier in this fight. Well, one thing that you got to worry about a little bit is whether or not the referee starts seeing that. That's one thing for you and me to see it. If the referee starts looking at him like, you know, he's not behaving right, he might start to move in there a little bit to stop this fight. He's got to get something going. That's straight right, unable to connect. Jermaine Taylor's in a spot right now where I don't think there's any doubt about it. He's losing the fight on points. Something has to change. What could that something be? So he's got to land a big punch, but he's not going to do it just by closing his eyes and hoping that he hits Lotto, hoping he gets lucky. He's got to be able to time something. Maybe time a right hand over a jab. Good job protecting himself. Oh, Jermaine Taylor. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. <laughs> Took a shot, now he gives a left. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. He took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Jermaine Taylor's... Oh, and there you go. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. This right. fight is over. This fight is over. Joe Calzaghe's gonna be partying tonight. A knockout victory. It doesn't get better than that. Your winner, Joe Calzaghe. Calzaghe's your winner by knockout. I feel like I just read a book. You know, I know a little bit more about this guy now. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.